Hello and welcome to a special episode of KSP Plainly Reviewing Plain Designs. This episode is special this time because I am using craft that I found online rather than submitted. Don't worry, this will not become the norm. I will still normally just use viewer submitted craft. But today I came across two things that were very interesting. The first one being this F-15 replica, which, ooh, oh, immediately I have a huge problem with it. The way this is like, uh, it's just slightly off and you could totally very easily with the new offset stuff just move this over and it would be so much nicer uh this could have been created before the offset stuff so you know if it was then you know i don't blame them but you know what it was definitely created with the offset stuff because there's no other way to do this the way they've done this and it's just uh i immediately don't like the small detail that's just slightly off and I'm, I'm nitpicky like that. I'm very touchy about what I like and what I don't like. Also, while I'm here, I believe this has a lot of parts in it, so I'd like to demonstrate something else. But in order to demonstrate, I actually have to restart because I have to install it. Alright, here we are. I've loaded back in. There's apparently an icon somewhere on the screen that I can click to start using part welding, because part welding has been updated for KSB 0.90. However, the icon that I saw that I'm supposed to be able to click to activate part welding, I, I'm not seeing it. I don't, I don't see it. Where is, how do, maybe it's in advanced mode? Does it want to, no, these are just the filters. That's not, it's, it's not in here, is it? What is that? Animate generic. Oh, so those are things like cargo bays and lights and communicon- things that move. Anything that moves. That's cool that you can filter by that. I actually haven't specifically looked through all the filters and everything, different levels and whatnot. Okay, well, I wanted to show off the part welding thing because it has been updated, but I can't figure out where the- uh, there's- I was told there was a button that would be on my screen that tells me how to do it, and... That button is nowhere to be found, so instead, I'm continuing on without it. So, you can see the center of lift, and is it in a good place? And hopefully this flies really well. And of course, this F-15 was created by all her men I I actually didn't know what that was supposed to mean on the craft file itself, and I went to go look up the name of the guy who made it, and it turns out that's his name. That's why it was called that. Interesting. I'm just looking in closer now at the slight like these little details about how the things are designed on here. I just noticed it's two landing gears on each landing gear part, which is cool. And now I'm lifting up. There we go. We have liftoff, pulling up the gear, and we are flying an F-15, which is... the missiles are slightly wobbly. Okay, let's uh, pull up and see Think, well, we're going pretty slow, so it's pretty maneuverable. If we were going faster, it wouldn't maneuver as quickly. But overall, it looks like it's a pretty good maneuverability. We are now flying sideways, of course, which is hilarious. We're also in the slower time warp. Time warp? Slower timing time things because of the number of parts on this craft. And possibly, do I have anything else loaded? I have, I have a VTOL on the roof. I should probably... Huh. That's probably that VTOL. I remember I was playing with the VTOL recently. I don't remember why. I think it was one thing that someone sent in that I really liked. I'm not sure. And let's fire some missiles. There we go. That'll lower our part count. Of course, right now it doesn't make any difference, except actually it's probably a little bit more intensive because it has to calculate the additional engines. But after they all blow up, yes, there you go. Game, f it, it at least feels like it's running a little faster. I doubt it actually is running any faster at this particular moment, but it feels like it. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit. I just noticed how far off we are from our velocity vector. It's quite hilarious, actually. How far off. But overall, this thing does fly very nicely. And it's easy to recover from doing stupid things, it seems like. Which is nice. It's nice to be able to do stupid things in a plane and not have to worry about dying from doing stupid things as much because the plane allows you to do stupid things. I, I like doing stupid things with planes, like flying into the side of a building. 
which I'm not going to do right now, even though I made you think I was going to. I'm actually just going to land it, like a normal person, except not on the runway. So not like a normal person, or if you're a normal KSP player, not like a normal KSP player, because it seems that traditionally they crash into things rather than landing. And there we go, touchdown again. Having that extra landing gear on each thing, like this is a very sturdy craft. I do like that. There's, there's one thing that is really, really nice about this, and it's how sturdy it is. It all holds together. And that's without part welding. If it was part welded, it would hold together even better. But, and well, it would hold together even better because it would be all one part, or, you know, several large parts, and each one of those parts would be, you know, completely rigid, and it, it would be all nice. Anyhow, the next thing we're moving on to take a look at is a YF-12A. If you don't know what that is, it's a Blackbird, also known as an SR-71 and Z-Fighting Everywhere. I am rather annoyed that it is Z-Fighting Everywhere, because that really ruins the value of the plane in my opinion. I, I just, I hate seeing stuff like that, like those little imperfections just bother me. So I'm trying my best right to, right, right now, to ignore it. And you also might have noticed that this plane is black, like entirely black, and you might, except for the landing gear. Really? Can you not color the landing gear? You, huh? I guess you can't. But you can color everything else, like see this section is now green. And now it's gray. And now it's back to black. Because we have curb paint installed, and this craft uses curb paint to make it black. As it should be, considering it is an SR-71. Or rather, a, y a YF-12A. Which is the prototype of an SR-71, by the way, if you did not know. And the, cent the center of lift is actually in front of the center of mass. That's interesting. That's inherently unstable. Let's give it a stable fly. Because I'm totally going to fly this stably. St stable there we go. And we've loaded, and we're low down on the ground. And I just noticed how this wing bit is sticking out at the bottom. Does the real one do that? I don't remember. Maybe that's in the prototype and not in the final? I, I don't know. That's interesting. I'm curious now. That makes me curious. That is awesome, that something made me curious. Wow, that took off easy. Alright, pulling up as hard as we can. This thing, despite saying that it's unstable in the VAB, just by going by the lift and center of mass indicators, it actually flies quite stably so far. Like you can see, it's, it's, it's maneuverable without being unstable. In fact, I'm looking at the pitch indicator now, and it's not actually even requiring a pitch down maneuver to keep it from going up. It's actually pretty much balanced on its own. I've turned off SAS as you can see at this point. I'm not touching the controls at all and we are flying straight on prograde. That's that's really nice. Also you might have noticed I just started to cough while I was saying that. <coughs> that was nice. Now let's crash it because who needs a proper landing? Proper landings are boring. I do those all the time. Let me hit F2 and then accidentally do the wrong thing and then hit F1 and then realize that I've done it entirely the wrong way I meant than what I meant to and yes I'm do I'm trying to get the screenshot now cuz cuz screenshot I don't know what I'm doing anymore let's let's just um yeah no that's not right hold on where's the I I've come into loading range of something hold on let me Yes, there we go. That shall be the... Actually, that's not the... It's not the prettiest craft from the front like that, so I think I'll do the screenshot like... Like this. Yes. See, that is a reasonable screenshot. Thanks for watching. As always, hope you enjoyed this little extra bit. See you in space. Assuming you don't do what I'm about to do and crash into the VAB. I hope I hit the VB, VB, VBA, VAB, because I'm, I'm kind of, I, I had a slight bit of trouble controlling it just then. But no, I'll hit the VB, VAB. And I also am going to hit the V, no, I'm going to miss the VTOL. No, wait, uh, yeah, I'm going to just miss it. In any case, it was a spectacular, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. It was a spectacular explosion, and had I realized I was going to switch controls to this right away like that, I could have actually saved it. But that is neither here nor there, because it's in pieces. Ooh, glitchy. Wait, there we go. Glitchy! If you experience seizures, please turn off the video about 10 seconds before this warning. Thanks for watching. I already said that bit. Never mind. Goodbye.
Hello and welcome to the beautiful buttery sounds of having a pop filter. Pop, see, without pop filter I sound like this. P -p -p -p. With pop filter I sound like this. P -p -p -p. Oh yeah, so much better. I got a pop filter. It's amazing. Keep in mind I have no idea how to use this mod and my ankle is hurting. Which is, you know, a fun reminder of last year. I already had one of those today. Anyhow, no. Do you hear the buzzing? The buzzing of the fly. Actually, it's a vacuum cleaner because someone decided to vacuum next door.